Hi, I'm Scott from Haltech. You might recognize this Subaru Liberty from the popular Mighty Car Mods YouTube channel. The guys wanted to try something new, so they fitted Subaru's EZ36 flat six-cylinder engine from a 2013 Tribeca, then turbocharged it. This made a perfect test car for the Haltech Elite Series ECU. The EZ36 has got four continuously variable camshafts, electronic throttle, dual banked knock control, sequential injection, and direct fire ignition. We've also added individual exhaust gas temperature sensors, wideband air fuel ratio, oil pressure, fuel pressure, and a fuel composition sensor. With these sensors, the Elite Series ECU offers a huge range of features that I'll be covering over the next few Elite introduction videos. The first is the electronic throttle control. The two main parts of the electronic throttle are the throttle pedal and the throttle body itself. For this application, we've used the throttle pedal from a 2005 model Liberty and the stock Tribeca throttle body. Both the throttle body and the throttle pedal have two position sensors inside them that are wired into analog ECU, uh, inputs on the ECU. The ECU then compares the signals from the pedal and the signals from the throttle body against each other. If any of those four signals are not what the ECU expects, the ECU puts the throttle into limp mode and flags a diagnostic trouble code. This checking is done over 4,000 times a second. The throttle body also has a throttle motor, which is driven by two wires directly from the ECU. These wires control the opening and closing of the throttle blade. Once wired, calibration of the throttle is straightforward with the software prompting us to leave the throttle pedal at 0%, then 100%, then back to 0%. The calibration process is finished. We can also adjust the ratio of pedal position to throttle opening in the setup screen. This will allow us to program the throttle for best feel for the application. In the near future, this throttle control will also be used for engine limiting, turbo anti-lag strategies, and cruise control. I mentioned before that the ECU will flag a diagnostic trouble code if a sensor or function goes out of range. These diagnostic trouble codes can be accessed in the bottom right-hand corner of the tuning software or by using a generic OBD-compatible scan tool, which all local workshops have these days. The Elite ECU is wired into this car's OBD2 port so we can communicate with an OBD2-compatible tool, display, or dash system. Here, I have an OBD2 Wi-Fi module and a hardwired OBD2 display to communicate with the Elite ECU. Using an iPhone app, we can check for fault codes and clear them once a problem's been resolved. We can also display live engine data to complement your dash gauges. My name's Scott and thanks for watching today. I'm looking forward to going through more of the Elite Series features in the upcoming videos. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.